Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is Mr. Santos Capilian Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now I will do the part three of this series tutorial on how to create a BMS graphics. Okay. Now, uh, actually, I did some modification here in this picture that I inserted in the graphic file. Okay. Now I remove the two pumps. Okay. Then because I will create our new pump okay so but before before i will uh, proceed with uh, this part three i would like to explain how these things uh, how this uh, water tank level management system works okay now as you can see here i have here this solenoid bulbs so these are solenoid bulbs okay when you say solenoid bulb once you it is normally closed, okay? So when you give power to the solenoid bulb, it's like it has a coil. Now, if you give power, then this coil will be activated. Then this coil will be the one to create magnetism that will open the bulb, okay? So this bulb, the solenoid bulb is normally closed, okay? So when you power it up, then it will open, okay? Now, how uh, this, uh, we will be installing here. As you can see here, uh, this one is the differential pressure uh transducer okay so meaning one of the the high pressure side of the differential pressure transducer is connected to the drain line of the tank okay then based on the reading of this being given to our ddc we will uh give the command to open the valve let's say this one reached a certain level wherein we need to fill some water then uh, this trans transducer will be the one to give the input signal to our DDC that it's time to open the solenoid valve, then start the pump. Okay, so solenoid valve will be controlled by our DDC. Okay, based on our control logic program. Now here, what I did here is I create also a manual control of this uh, solenoid valve. So I asked our electrical people to create or to fabricate one small control panel for manually operating this uh, solenoid valves because there will be a time that our DDC might be malfunctioning or there's a problem with the DDC, then uh, we cannot uh, let this, let's say this fire water tank, uh, we, we want to make sure that these tanks are always full so we can operate the uh, solenoid valve manually and at the same time we can operate the pumps manually also okay now here the potable water tank this one is the uh, equalizing line okay so as you can see these two tanks should have at least equal uh, equal level okay now uh, actually you can just in, uh, install uh, but no uh, actually there should be uh, it's tank should have its own level uh, sensor, okay, through the use of differential pressure transducer, okay. Now, likewise, here in fire water tank, again, there is a equalizing line, okay. Now, here, uh, what else? Okay, for the pump, let me continue the graphics, and I hope uh, the uh, new engineers, they have already idea the for the sequence of operation once this one reach once a tank reach a level low level then our ddc will open the bulb then it will start the pump then we will be also uh, monitoring the flow because we can have one flow status here or flow switch okay now okay let me start the graphics creation now as you can see i removed the two pumps here now it's time to uh, add the pump okay so first you have to go here you have to come here in your components okay then uh, actually these components are uh, available in uh, these are the graphics library okay now so i will go to my pump pumps okay so i will select what kind of pump that i will use so i will be using this let's see pump t1 small right pump small right okay how about this one let's see 
think this one is okay. Okay, so we will try to use this pump. Okay, so I'm going to use this like this one. Okay, so I will be using this. Okay, then I need another pump. I'll just copy this, control C, then I will copy. Okay, so I'll be using the same pump. Okay, so now I have two pumps here. Now I need to, uh, by the way, these pumps are animated. Okay, now what I need here is um, pipe. Okay, so let me go to my pipe. Where are the pipe components? Okay, scripted pipe here, I have here. Okay, now I'm going to use this one. Okay, now actually the problem is the color of this pipe control set. Okay, if you do something wrong, just undo. Okay, now I'll copy this, then drag. I will, okay, let me just, um, okay, so if you want to make it horizontal, you can use this, okay. Now here, I will do like this, okay. So that will be my pipe connection, the discharge of the pump. Now likewise, I will try to copy this, control C, control V. Okay, copy paste. Okay, okay. it's almost finished. Now the next thing that I need to do is to use a T. Okay, so let me use this T. Let me change the orientation. Okay, I think this will be enough. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay. Control C, Control V, copy the same T. Okay, now I think I need to put a small pipe. Okay, let me put a small pipe. Okay, because uh, I need to close this gap here. Okay, so let me use this pipe. Okay. Now you can use a rectangle. Okay. Now I will put a rectangle. Now let me resize it a little. Okay. Okay. I think that's okay. Okay. Now, uh, since this is object oriented, I can play with the property of that object. Okay. Now here, I will change the color or the fill. Let me fill it with blue, okay. With blue color, okay, let me use this, okay. Now I think it's okay, okay, okay. Now you can change if you want to change this. Now make sure you are selecting the object before you play with the properties, okay. Now let's change this, uh, let's use a little. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, guys, uh, this object will be having a name, okay? So what you will do, uh, let's select that again, rectangle. Does it have a name? Okay, no, don't, no, no name, okay, it's okay. But this pipe, it will be having a name, okay? Now you can remove this name, okay? So I am removing it because during binding time, I don't want it to appear in the... Uh, server okay so i'm removing the name of the object because i don't need to do some animation with that object or any binding so i have to remove the name so it will not appear in the server okay during binding time okay now i have already pump one and pump two now i can put some text okay text uh, let me okay say uh, pump one okay now Enter, escape, then you can play with the property. Now I'm, my favorite is Tahoma for my font type, Tahoma. Okay, now you can play also with the size. If it's really big, then make it a little bit smaller. Okay, pump one, then the font weight, you can bold it, okay. Now for the stroke, 
You can also change the color of it. Let's use the blue one. Okay, let me keep a little bit. Uh, okay, so it will be, okay. Now I will put it here. So this is, will be my pump one, all right. Okay, now guys, when you are doing the graphics, you should be a little bit artistic, okay? So let me make it a little bit smaller. Pump one, right? Pump one. Okay, now I will copy this. Control C and Control B, so I can say this is pump two. Pump two. Okay. Now uh, I already have my pump. This is my pump. Okay. Now this one I will change also the name. I will just say P one stands for pump one okay so this one also i'll change the name i will not use the default one so i will say pump two okay now maybe you will ask me why you have to change the name because this name will be the one uh, we were going to use this name during binding okay so just uh, do not use the default because it's long and it's not sometimes not descriptive so it's better to change the name okay now here uh, since i have the pump so i can put all the information or oh, now the next thing that i have to do is to uh, create the control and monitoring points for each pump so i have some space here so i will put it here okay so let me use this again control c control b Okay, so I will put it here. Now I will say this one is pump. Okay, uh, let me change the content. So uh, we will say P1. Okay, H O A S E S. Okay, so let me just use this one. So pump one, hand up auto status. Now I need uh, what else? Okay, so control C, control B. Okay, so these are the usual monitoring and control points for a pump. Okay, so I will say this one is uh, pump one, uh, pump one, if it is in hand up to status, then pump one start, okay, start, stop. Okay, CMD. So I will say pump one start stop command. Okay. Okay, what else? Control, control B. What else? Okay, so I, I have the start stop. Now I will say run. Okay, run status. And what else? Control B. Okay, so I should be having also the uh, trip. trip status. Okay, then I can say I will be monitoring the uh, okay trip. Control B. I will be monitoring also the flow. Okay, okay so I will say here. Guys, it's better to copy and paste because it's easy and it's not time consuming. Okay, now I will select all this text. Then you can uh, use this uh, menu to align it. Okay, align left. So control Z. If something went wrong, then you can just, okay, control Z again. Now, okay, let's just select one by one. Then you can align left. Okay, so it's aligned left already. Now, the next thing to do is to copy. Oh, okay, why did I? Again, you, you need to copy. You need to copy again. Control C, Control D. Okay, now this set for pump two. Okay, so all you need to do is change here to 
to to to okay now here uh, what else we have to include okay now let's see, try to include the pump run hours okay so that okay so control c control b now i will include the okay let's just manually position it now this one will be p1 run hours run hours now you know already if you are following my tutorial you know already the purpose of run hours okay here I will copy this control C, control B, then I will put it here. Okay. This one is for pump to run hours. Okay, as you can see, I already added some text. Okay, now this text, uh, we will not be doing anything. Or we will not be manipulating this text or objects okay so just it is just a plain text okay now for pump one hand of auto status we need the real time value okay so we can say this one is just a description okay description of the point but we need to put the exact uh, i mean the real time value that will show or that will tell the operator or that will the, the graphics will say when it is in auto or in manual okay so okay let me work this one first now i will be using here one rectangle small rectangle okay so i will use one small rectangle for the actual real time value okay now i think that is enough now let's change the property of this one the field let's use something which is okay so this is my favorite blue combination blue and yellow okay now uh, so here guys uh, we will be putting pump 100 pump to status description of the point and what is the actual uh, value of that point okay is it uh, auto or in manual now i will create here i will be using now as snippets okay so this is snippets will be the one that will give us the real time value of the point Okay, now here we can use the dynamic text. Okay, so meaning when you say dynamic, it is changing. Uh, it will change in auto, from auto to manual, from manual to auto. Okay, so I will put it here first. Okay, wait, why? Why I cannot? What's wrong? Why I cannot drop it there? Uh, why I cannot drop it here? What's the problem? Okay, let me first uh, move this. Okay, now I will try to this dynamic text. I think there's a problem. I cannot drop it. Okay, now so that the problem is I cannot uh, directly drop it in the uh, over the picture that I inserted. Okay, anyway, uh, let me do this first. Okay, now this text, okay, now what will be the text or the content? Now the content of this, this since this is uh, for hand of auto status, so it will be auto or manual. So initially, I will say manual, okay? So the, in the initial value of the point will be manual, okay? Now this, you have to change the bind name. This bind name will be the one that will appear during binding. Okay, so make sure you will use a uh, descriptive uh, bind name. Okay, now there are some rules you have to follow when you are using bind name. So make sure you will not use special characters. So the bind name for this one is P1. Okay, I can say HOA or HOA STS. So pump one hand of auto status. Okay, now you need to use the same bind name and this name. Bind name and this name 
should be the same. Okay, so I will use the same. I will just copy it, Control C, then double click, Control B. Okay, so my bind name and my name of the object should be the same. Okay, now here we can change the again the uh, font style. I'm using Tahoma. Okay, then the size we need to change the size. We will use okay about twelve. Okay, then the Okay, the stroke later on we will change the stroke. We will create uh, another bind that will change the stroke. Okay, so the font weight we need to make it bold so it will be more okay visible. Now here I can drop it here. Okay. Now let me arrange now my pictures. Okay, so that's that's it. Okay, now I can, uh, I want to put it in the middle, okay? So let me, okay. so I want the actual point to appear in the, uh, actual point to appear in the middle of my rectangle, okay? Now, uh, now here, what I can do here is just copy this, okay? Because here it will be the same, okay? Control C, Control D. Now I will use it here, okay? Okay. Now I will just change this. This will be for my P1 start stop command. So I will say this one, I will change again. I will change the bind name and the, so this one will be my, okay? So guess what will be the name or the byte names? It will be SSCMD, okay? So I can copy, control C, double click, then control C, then double click, control B, okay? Now, what will be the edit mode text? So if it is start to stop, then we can say uh, uh, off, okay? So initially we will put off, okay? So it's very easy. Now, uh, again, let me, okay, let me, this one run status. Okay, I will use this one. Control C, Control B. Okay, I will use this. Why I'm going to use it, I will tell you later on. Now here, again, I will change this uh, bind name. So this one will be, that will be for my run status. So we can say P1 run sts okay then double click control c control b okay then the default uh, text will be off also okay now let me trip okay now this one i will cover. okay control b i will copy this now i'll be using this for trip trip status okay now trip status, okay, this one will be, okay, likewise change the bind name. So this one will be trip STS, okay. Double click, control C, control B. Okay, now here I will use the normal, okay, so Initial value will be normal, meaning there is no trip condition, okay? Now, what else? Okay, let me change this because it's very long. So, okay, I will just hours, okay? Okay, here, I will just copy this. Control C, Control B, okay? Now here, I'm going, ah, okay, let me, Control Z, Control Z, Okay, control B again, no, control Z, okay, let me copy this, control C, control B. So this one for flow, okay, so this one for flow, okay, so flow, now, flow, okay, so this one, uh, flow, we can say off, okay, that will be the default value, then this one, P1, flow, STS, okay, then this one is uh, copy, control C, control V, okay. 
Now, our uh, last one, control C, control D. Okay, so this one will be for my P1 run hours. Okay, so this one, I'm going to use another snippet. I'm going to use a dynamic value. Okay, now dynamic value, as you can see, I cannot put it on top of my picture. So again, again, I need to create a way. Okay, I will. Come on, yeah. Guy, okay, come on, yeah. Okay, okay. Now value again, I will change my, okay. Make sure you are selecting the correct object. So edit mode text so here. I can, uh, let's say there is no more decimal. Edit mode text. Okay, here I can say zero. Bind name, this one bind name. Again, we have to specify a bind name for this. So this one P1 run hours, okay? So double click. Okay, now uh, let's change the stroke. Okay, now the font, I can use the font. Okay, let's change the font to my favorite Tahoma. Then let's make it a little bit smaller 12 then let's bold it bold okay now i think it's very small now i can drop it here okay let me use also middle so meaning i will put it in the middle okay i think it's enough okay now let me reposition my picture okay now i have some a little problem here Okay, so you can do it manually. Yes. Uh, okay, but there, are, there is some other way to do it, not this manually, okay? You can use the uh, align, but since it is easy for me to do this, so I'm doing it, okay? Okay, guys, so in this part three of this tutorial, what I did is create the three pump, either two pumps, okay, pump one and pump two object. Then create my uh, monitoring and control points for one pump because I don't I don't like to show you to I don't like to show you the pump two because it will follow the same procedure. Okay, so guys, I think uh, because I want to just create a short video clip so that everybody or the one uh, following this tutorial will not get bored. Okay, so I'm just doing it a short video clip. Okay. So to wrap it up, I created two uh, object, uh, two pumps object, pump one and pump two, then created the usual monitoring and control points for one pump, okay? Then for the rest, for pump two, it will follow the same procedure, okay? Now, guys, I think uh, this will be enough for this part three. Wait for part four, wherein I will do some other, uh, insert some other object in my, uh, graphics okay so now what we have learned is the new things that we have learned here is the snippets okay so we have dynamic text wherein that one will be used for the real time value of the point when it is in auto or it is in manual the point will reflect the real condition in the field okay then dynamic value dynamic value is the one when we say dynamic the one changing based on the a real scenario or based on the site condition okay so again i think this will be enough and santos capillan jr will always say god bless us all and if you are new to my channel please support this channel by subscribing watching and you can also like and share this video so that we can reach other uh, new engineer that are wishing to join building management system okay so again, thank you and God bless us all and bye for now.